Hello, it's All Your Bass Chris here in my cupboard under the stairs. This video is about my production flow and the equipment I use to make my highly polished and incredibly well produced YouTube channel. So, cameras. I am currently using my Xperia 1 Mark II phone as a camera using some software called IV Cam. In fact, I will now switch you over to, I'm going to leave, let you see behind the curtain, as it were, and move over to a picture of my desktop. So here we are. So a quick tour. Here we have the live stream of the camera coming in uh, over Wi-Fi as well. It's, it's pretty good, I have to say. 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second recording. Underneath that, we have the NVIDIA broadcast software. That's what's blurring the background on a little window here. And obviously OBS Studio, which I'm using to record. So a quick note on OBS, uh, sorry, a quick note on NVIDIA Broadcast. It can do some really clever things. As you can see now, it's blurring my background and it's all done using artificial intelligence. I did a video about this, so I'm not going into too much detail, but one thing it can do is it can remove the background to make it me floating in the void or in front of whatever, which is really, really nice for when I do the Mr. videos because then you have the floating head in the corner without the background, which I think is quite nice. And here we are again. Now you have a floating head in your desktop. Of course, occasionally you get artifacts around the ears, but who doesn't? Now I am going to uh, turn off the NVIDIA broadcast and I'm going to bring you forward. Because uh, now I'm going to do something very unorthodox and I'm going to reach out and I'm going to grab you because you're not connected to anything. It's all Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm going to show you a little tour of my, um, my cupboard, as it were. I'm just going to move the important supplies. So here we go. Swing round. Here we have stand. That's what you were just sitting on there to uh, prop up the phone on these nice flatty stands. Here we have a Bluetooth controller. Right. Let's talk about the video, as it were. For audio and video, we have a little camera light there. That's just a small rechargeable one. And the microphone I'm using is an AKG C1000S. It's a phantom powered mic, uh, very favored by drummers and, vo and vocalists. And it's one of the mics I use in my live performances generally. That is hooked into a Zoom U44 handy portable interface, which is a bus powered two in, uh, oh, four out audio interface that does a lot of very clever things, including uh, digital input, uh, digital uh, optical out, and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, I don't really use it to its full potential, but uh, I, I do like it for live streaming, which uh, I used to do quite a lot. Over here, we have the Avamedia Line Mini Game Capture. It's a USB 2 device that can take an HDMI input, pass it through, and also capture it at the same time. Uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and that's what I've got the Mister hooked up to. Underneath that, we have a KVM switch. Uh, this one has a Bluetooth dongle plugged into it and my mouse and keyboard. And by, with a flick of a button, this little button here, I can switch between my Mister and my PC, which is, you know, just convenience sake, really. Moving along, we have an unused power bank and an unused Raspberry Pi and an awful lot of cables and apparently some kind of food tritus. I think, what's that? I hope it's food, not a might be a bogey. Up we go. This is shelf number two. Uh, obviously, I'm so posh I have two shelves. This is the Mister itself, all nicely ensconced here in the corner next to my microphone mount. A steam controller that I don't use as often as I should. Microfiber cloth in a bowl with USB keys and SD cards under it. An actual PC. Uh, this is my gaming PC, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, the case looks weird because it's lying on its side. USB powered fan for when I get too hot in my cupboard and some spare bits and bobs that I might need for video recording. So I'm going to swing your background to me. Plop you safely down. Look at that. See if it'll focus. There we go. And just for a laugh, I'm going to uh, blur my background again. Ta -da! There we go. Makes that look very professional, doesn't it? So let's talk about uh, the actual workflow and the the uh, PC I use. The PC has an RTX 2060 in, so not the most uh, high-end gear, but it's good enough for me and what I want to do. We, I have an AMD Ryzen 3600 processor with 16 gig of RAM, a couple of SSDs, 
uh, and an M2 drive and a four gigabyte terabyte hard drive, which is well, for a terabyte hard drive, sorry, which is fantastic for long term storage of stuff. The monitor is an AOC curved monitor gaming 165 megahertz refresh rate, which is nice if I want to play Half Life 2 uh, maxed at 5 million frames per second. I use uh, Adobe Premiere for the editing of the videos. Uh, there, I'll get into why I use that in a minute, and I also use all the Adobe Suite for pretty much anything I do at the moment. So the pandemic knocked me out of work, which, as we all know, was a terrible shame. It's not as bad as the people who are actually dying from the pandemic, but, you know, <laughs> it affects everyone differently. But uh, being knocked out of work, I'm a professional vocalist normally, but I'm now working in a school as an administrator, which is great fun, actually. I'm really enjoying it, but needs must. And I get the Adobe educational discount because of that. So I'm only paying £16 a month for the entire Adobe suite legitimately, which is why I'm using it. I quite like DaVinci Resolve, but uh, I, I sort of grew up using Premiere, so I'm better with that. So I use Premiere for the editing. I use um, uh, Audition if I have to do any heavy audio editing. When I do the recording of the vocal videos, I use Audition, and uh, I'll let you into a secret. I normally record the tracks, multi-tracks beforehand, and then lip sync to the actual videos. <laughs> Uh, for the Mr. videos, I switch over to a different scene in OBS and I normally remove my background. So you get the floating head there, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, if I leave that off, then I'm no longer in my cupboard and I'm floating in the void. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much an another typical rambling video talking about very little in, in particular. What I did want to say towards the end here is that I've noticed I've had quite an influx of subscribers. A lot of people are really interested in the uh, running the Pymega in WinUAE. So it's really nice. Hello to all of those people. And thank you for coming out and uh, had some nice comments on that. So great. It's just I like to tinker. So I'm going to try and do some more tinkering videos. I don't know what they're going to be about as of yet. I do have um, a big speaker review to do. And hopefully I've got some more gear on the way. But uh, that's pretty much it, really. Obviously, this isn't like the most exciting video in the world. And uh, if you if you did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, why not? Doesn't make any difference, really. It affects the algorithm, but uh, you are allowed to express your opinion however you wish. And uh, if you want to shout at me or not tell me off for my rambling style, feel free to do so in the comments. In the meantime, though, I'd like to say, you know, good health. Keep going. Plod on. And I'll see you sometime soon. Thank you very much. Bye.